So um, welcome everyone to this um, uh, Shared Services Joint Committee. Um, ICT, are you recording now? Are we, are we online? We're English, so yes we are. Um, obviously this is a hybrid meeting for the Shared Services Joint Committee and some members are present in the room and some members are present dialing in on, um, on, on virtual um, linkage. Um, for those people who don't know me, I'm Alistair Bradley, Chair of this committee and Councillor Paul Foster from South Liberal is the Vice Chair of this committee. Um, this is a Teams meeting and is being recorded and streamed um, and will be uploaded after the meeting. Um, obviously, if people want to speak or raise anything, I think most members now know how to use a raise a hand um, device on their iPads. And if not, just speak up and I will let gaps in the conversation for people to join in. Also, if you can just refer to the paragraphs in the report which you're speaking to or asking questions on, that will be very helpful for those officers and members who are having to refer back to documentation. I will try and ask Chris um, Moister, our monitoring officer, if we take any votes to confirm what each vote is, so that's very clear as well. And if the technology fails, we'll adjourn the meeting while everybody gets back on and we will hopefully not make any decisions while all members are not available to take part in the meeting. So just before, um, I'd just like to confirm that everybody's actually on the call and can hear me and um, and we can hear them. So I'm going to do a bit of a roll call. If you said if you're here and present, um, Councillor Martin Boardman. Uh, yes, Chair. Present. Councillor Graham Dunn. Present. Councillor Margaret France. Here, Chair. Councillor Matthew Tomlinson. Yeah, loud and clear, Chair. Councillor Colin Clark. Yes, present. Councillor Margaret Smith. Present. And Councillor David Shaw. Present, Chair. And Councillor Peter Wilson is in the building, but not here yet, but he's joining us shortly as soon as he gets finished on his previous meeting. So that's fine. Um, we will make a start. Sorry. Oh, sorry, Councillor Paul Foster. Yes, Chair, I'm here. I can't even realise the name, so I'm not having a good day today, am I? Um, no apologies have been received for this meeting, Ruth. Is that correct? OK, thank you. So the first item of business is the minutes of the meeting dated 2nd of September um, 2020. Has anybody got any comments on those minutes or any issues they'd like to raise? Or would somebody like to propose that they are a correct record? Happy to propose, Chair. So proposed by Councillor Foster. Anybody happy to second those? Thank you, Graham. I'll take a wave as acceptance or seconding. Anybody wish to object to those minutes? Silence is agreement, so they are taken as a, a true and correct record. Thank you. Um, the next item of business is um, declaration of any interests. Have we got any interest to declare anything we're discussing tonight? Oh, yeah. sorry. Sorry, yeah, Gary. Yeah. Um I need to declare an interest in the shared chief exec discussion, so I'll leave at that point. I think, yeah, that's, uh, yes, definitely. Right, OK, that's fine. Anybody else? Chair. Yeah. Sorry. Chair, yeah, may I just yes, make sure. a point? It's not actually a declaration of interest as such, but Gary is one of my uh, residents, and therefore I think I should be aware that I'm uh, in, at least in part representing his views. Fine. I, there's a whole lot of questions about who you voted for and who he didn't vote for, but we'll not we'll not pursue that line, will we, or in the future? So, so <laughs> that's fine. Thank you, David. Um, okay. The first data of business, actually, um, very oddly, is to exclude the public and press because we're going to move straight into a part two discussions. So, does somebody want to propose that we exclude the public and press? Thank you, Councillor Foster. Proposed. Somebody second that. Thank you, Councillor Tomlinson. Everybody happy to do that? Anybody objecting, please say no. No. OK, so we will exclude the public and press and we'll move straight on to the report.